Today, we come together to remember the life of Roger Andrew Dawson. And although we know he had so much life left in him, we thank God for the 17 years we did have. So, what do you want to do today? I figured it out this time. Man, I hit the gold mine. We're going to be rich. Am I going to get grounded again? Jake, that's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> Trick or treat. Boys, it's the middle of July. I love what you do with your hair. You're crazy, man. God, we don't always understand why. And we choose to trust you even in our pain. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jake. It means a lot that you came. You two. Have you two spoken lately? Did, did he say anything? Freshman year. This is awesome. Hey, starting at guard, averaging 15 points and 11 assists, the six foot freshman phenom, Jake Taylor! freshmen look good. <laughs> um, thanks. <laughs> so, why is there a birdie on your bag? Oh, oh it's, uh, it's a mascot for the University of Louisville. I want to play there someday. Okay. <laughs> um, you going to the party? Yeah. Wait, what? What party? <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> um, we can go together. Here, give me your phone. <laughs> hey, Jake. Hey, Raj. Hey, uh, my friend Roger. Uh, we we're gonna hang out tonight. Is it cool if he comes too? Um, <laughs> our car only has room for one more. If you know what I mean. Same things, or were you just talking to Amy Briggs? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get out of here, man. Mom already ordered the pizza, so. Raj, um, I can't go. Wait, what? I, I just talked to you before the game. Amy invited me to a party. Uh, uh okay. Well, cold pizza's still good. So where, where, where's the party? You can't go. I get it. 
things are going to be different now. Roger. Freshman year. Last time I spoke to him was freshman year. You know I don't have a girlfriend. Hence, you have no latte either. Ooh, she got you on that one, dude. Yeah, you know, your mom got me, okay? She's an attractive woman. Your mom and I, we get along. I'll talk to you about that later. Oh, the big ugly has jokes and something right, funny. Okay, you call me the big ugly one more time, I'm gonna kick your ass. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Okay. No, no hard feelings. You wanna get out of here? You know I don't need much to skip calculus. <laughs> nah, just don't do it. Good job, I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> days left before you leave for Louisville. It's gonna feel like 800 is my folks. Stop it. Your mom is not that bad. Yeah, but my dad won't stop writing me. Dick. Oh, I mean, you know him. He won't stop trying to live out his failed dreams to me. Well, I will go beat him up for you. Whoa! <laughs> Look at these guns. You are really strong. <laughs> I, I think you could take him, I for sure. I am pretty strong. <laughs> you know what? I think we should be cool parents. Who says I want kids? That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Really, really good point. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take it. You know what? I, I wrote you a love letter. A love letter? Mm -hmm. Like a love, like you're in love with me letter? Like, just read it. Okay. <laughs> you got it in Louisville? Yeah. Early admission. <laughs> well, your big secret's out. Everyone's gonna know how brilliant you are. Eh, uh, well, I have tried very hard to hide it, so. <laughs> Can we get to be together just like we always planned? Amy Briggs, you are incredible. I love you.
side two with ten seconds to play. Aim on the tail and bring the ball up court. Oh, he's double teamed as usual. He drives. We're live here at Pacific High School as students are arriving for the first time in two and a half weeks after senior Roger Dawson opened fire in the school, taking his own life. Security has been heightened here at the school with the police presence, metal detector searches, and ID checks. Grief counselors are also here on campus. We, of course, will keep you updated on any late-breaking developments as the story continues to unfold. He looks so evil, like I thought I was going to die. Have you ever seen him before? No, I really had a friend at class in school. Mr. Will. I saw you at the funeral. I didn't know you were a friend of Rogers. Uh, from a while back. You doing okay with this? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. You see a counselor yet? No. Nah. You should. I'm good. Think about it. That kid's just lucky I wasn't there, man. I was. Wasn't like that. Right. Why are we still talking about this kid? Okay, that little freak made us forfeit three games. Well, shut up, man. It was intense. No, what's intense is the El Capitan full court press. That's intense. This last game of the season with their heated rival couldn't be more exciting. 15 seconds left. Jake Taylor brings up the ball. Pacific is down by one. 67 68. Pacific 69, El Capitan 68. 
Hey, Jake. Nice shot. Thank you. Do I know you? Roger's funeral. You're that pastor? <laughs> yeah. My friends call me Chris. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to introduce myself. <sighs> cool. I'm not really religious, though. Neither am I. I'm looking everywhere for you. <laughs> I saw three recruiters tonight, and they were so impressed. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so is Doug. Thank you for bailing him out yet. Nope. Mm. Oh, hey, uh, Amy, this is Chris. Hi, good to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, everybody's waiting for us. Okay. Hey, um, I know what you're going through. So if you ever want to talk. All right, kiddo. Let's go see Mama. Who was that? Chris. Party time? Yeah. This game, I gave him this flyer and he swore he'd come. <laughs> He's gonna show up in Wizard Wars. <laughs> Here. You're, you're crazy, bro. You let's go party. I'm not like clinically <laughs> insane. <laughs> You are a lucky man. Get one of your own. She's one everyone wants. Do it again. 
I'm not kidding. Let's go. You know you want to? Jake. You know what? Screw it. You want to lose your scholarship? Go ahead. Be my guest. Where's my truck? Amy? Doug. Jake. Where are you? Where, where am I? Uh, me? Uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm at the party. I'm not even talking to you. <laughs> Amy took my truck. Call, come get me. Call me back. Matthew, answer the phone. Uh, your grandma calls me Matthew. <laughs> hey, it's, uh, it's Jake, and I need a ride. Because you guys left. And I'm still here, outside, walking around. Sober up, pick me up. So, text me or call me or help me. Flex. Great. Your secret's safe with me, girly boy. <laughs> Some flew my eye. All right. <laughs> oh. Who's calling at eleven thirty? Hello. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Yeah, I'll be right there. Where are you going? Oh, another drunk kid. Why do I ever get the car detailed? <laughs> you know what? I'm proud of you. Hey. Awesome. Thanks. Too, too many, huh? <laughs> oh. So, Jake, I'm curious. What'd you call me for? Um, well, friends ditched me and my parents would freak out. What about your girlfriend? Speak of the devil. She took my truck. <laughs> oh man, it's not your best night, is it? Uh-uh. I'll drink to that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. This isn't my house. Yeah, I know. I just can't stop thinking about him. He must have been going through hell when we let him down. Roger came to my youth group once. The Sunday before. Must have been a last ditch effort, but it didn't work. Hey, hold on one second, we'll be right back, okay? Hey, I'm Chris. How you doing? Roger. Good to have you here. 
What school do you go to? Oh, um, why? Hey, one second, be right back. I gotta take I missed him. There was this kid at the party tonight, and they wouldn't let him in because he wasn't, he wasn't cool enough. I mean, how messed up is that? He wasn't cool enough? But the other guys uh, didn't want Roger around, so just ditched him. They would mess with him, make fun of him, and I never said a word. Yeah, I know what you mean, Jake. But somehow we gotta own how we treated him, you know? You know, I was his only friend, and I would see him every day walking to school, in the halls, and I never even said hi. So we're both living with regrets, huh? Anyway, you live around the corner, don't you? Yeah. So, what did you mean when you said that you weren't religious? No, I'm not religious because that's not what it's about. But aren't you like a priest or something? You know, you should come tomorrow. You should come find out. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> not your thing, huh? Well, neither is leaving my family on a Saturday night to come pick up a drunk kid. Good morning, sunshine. How was your trip? Sorry, Mr. Game. I tried to get us back last night, but Dad had so much work. Where is he? I see you were the last second hero again, huh? Yeah, Dad, it, it was crazy. When Doug shot that ball, I knew exactly where it was gonna go. Yeah. One second left, I tipped the ball in, hit the ground. Yeah, well, you, you know, you got a lot going for you, Jake. Just don't get stupid with this kamikaze ball, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm just saying, do you know how easy it would be for you to get hurt, lose your scholarship? It's not like you're gonna get in any other way, huh? Not with your grades. Just choose your head, son, all right? I'm late, I'll call. You working on Sunday? You, you just got home. Somebody's gotta pay the bills, kid. What your father means is we're proud of you. Yeah, I, I really felt that from the one game that he went to. He's really busy at the office. Mom, would you stop defending him? He's just... He doesn't get it. It's my life, not his. Where are you going? I'm going to church.
favorite part of verse 8. He starts off his prayer with the word, remember. Why would he use that word, remember? Jake Taylor? What are you, what are you doing here? What do you mean? You don't really seem like the Christian type. I'm just uh, I'm looking for Chris. He's back here. It's almost over. So, yeah. Well, Danny, oh, it's so good to see you. Tell your father his sermons just get better and better every Sunday. You're going to be just like him. Your dad's a priest? Yeah, something like that. Jake, right? Yeah. I'm Andrea. Welcome to Sold Out. And here's a name tag. Was it Rainbow Day? Oh, you didn't get my message? Don't worry, you can borrow this. Mm. Thanks. So here's the deal, guys. We can know all this stuff, and we can go through this book until mullets come back in style. <laughs> that girl freaks me out. Until we allow this to go through us and change how we live, it's a waste of time. So we always got to ask ourselves, what are we going to do about it? So I'm gonna wrap this up. I know you're dying, but I gotta ask you something first. What would you do for $20? Would you French kiss a dog? <laughs> How about this? Would you take your mom to the prom? <laughs> take your mom, she's hot. <laughs> Good, we know what Billy would do. You know, we do all kinds of crazy things for 20 bucks, but what would you do for a penny? Would you take your mom to the prom now? French kiss that dog. See, the crazy thing is, is we treat people the very same way. Some are worth their time, and some we just pass right by like they're worthless. Last week, I conducted Roger Dawson's funeral. You know, some of you may not know this, but Roger came into our youth group the Sunday before. He No, it's easy to blame. But last week, Roger took a look at his life, and he said, I'm not worth it. So whatever he was hoping to find here, he obviously didn't find it. Do we get this? Because if we don't, the consequences are huge. You don't want to do this, man. <laughs> Hey, Jake. Hey, man, you made it. You okay after last night? Yeah. Sorry I was late. No, I'm just stoked you're here. Um, like your speech? Okay, thanks, man. I appreciate it. So, your girlfriend still got your truck? Yep. <laughs> if you got 10 minutes, uh, I can give you a ride home. Is that cool? Sure. All right, come on. Joey! Hey, Mike. Hey, Sarah. Can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. Why do you think he did it? Roger? I've been thinking about that myself. I mean, if Roger could just kill himself like that, what does that say about life? I don't know. Things like that, they make you kind of think, don't they? It's just like I've, I've, I've spent my whole life trying to be some basketball star. And like, what's the point of that? My, my dad is successful, but he and my mom, they're not happy. They hate each other. You know, at least Roger's not hurting anymore. Yeah, well, maybe life's a little more than that. Like what? God? No, I was gonna say it. You know, I'd love to finish this conversation, but I think you got company. I think she saw me. <laughs> we'll talk later.
Good luck out there. Oh, Jake. You want to borrow these? What is it? Just check it out. I've called you like a bajillion times and you don't have a decency to call me back. I'm sorry, did I miss the part where you apologized for stealing my truck? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know what you put me through? Say something. I went to church today. Yeah? Yeah, my dad did the whole church thing and then he left us. Amy, I'm not your dad. Then what is going on? Okay, you don't go to church and who is this guy that I keep seeing you What with? do you want me to do? Huh? You want me to apologize for you stealing my truck? Okay. I'm sorry. That's all you got is an I'm sorry? Amy, it's just not a good time right now. I've got a lot on my mind. What about us? Is that it? You make love to me on Saturdays and then you confess on Sunday? Is that what the new plan's gonna be? You don't know what you're talking about. Well, at least I talk. You know the kid that killed himself? Yeah. I knew him. It's sad, but seriously, it's not like he... Hired? No, I was gonna say, it's not like he was your friend. We were... We were best friends. Jake, we've been dating for three years. I've never even met him. We grew up together. Okay, so a former friend of yours tries to shoot up the place and kill people, and you feel bad about it? You gotta let it go, okay? It's not your fault. Then whose fault is it? His, his parents, I don't know, okay? But it's not your job to watch over him. But you can watch over me. A lot to think about. I know what you're thinking about. You think there's a God? Excuse me? You are acting so weird. Come on, I'll, I'll take you home. Can I have my keys? No. there. Thanks for checking out Diva to Go. This is day one of our life question series. You know, a guy gets blamed for a lot of things these days. There's all this stuff going on around the world. And we wonder, why doesn't he do something? Why doesn't he stop it? And I really don't know. But I wonder if God ever wants to ask us the same question. week is going to be hell. So much crap to do. It's like everything sucks right now. Long time no see. Season's over. No more drug tests. Mr. B is such an a-hole. It's like he doesn't want us to have a life. What? Nothing. What does a big preacher man think about this? He has no clue. Nothing about smoking weed in the Bible. What about God? You can believe that crap? You don't? I believe what I believe. Where have you been? Got this for you. Hello, I already have one. I just thought you, you know. Mm, lukewarm coffee, my favorite. Is that pot? It's, it's not mine. <laughs> J. 
Jake. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Andrea, right? Yeah. How's it going? It's all good. Jake, does anyone ever ask you how you're really doing? I'm cool. Today didn't really go how I had planned, so. It was cool to see you at Sold Out. You coming tomorrow night? Tomorrow? Oh, um, <laughs> Chris didn't tell you. Tuesday's our youth group, 7 p.m. at the church. You have church two days a week? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm scaring you, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Natalie, Carla, this is Jake. How's it going? Jake, what's, uh, what's going on, man? Doug, uh, Andrea, Hi. Natalie, and... Carla. Carla. Am I missing something? Actually, uh, Jake and I were just talking about oh. sociology. All right, whatever, man. Let's get out of here. What are you doing with those girls? Jake? How long you been out here? The whole time. Why didn't you come inside? I don't know. Just... Not sure. About what? I believe that you believe, but... Why are there so many fakers in there? I know there's fakers in the group, Jake, but... So does God. I don't know, I guess there's always gonna be people who are afraid and willing to settle. But you know, that's not what it's about. It's about you, what are you gonna do? I say that I don't wanna settle. Is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, I was asking a lot of the same questions you are. You know, but at some point you gotta ask yourself, what do you want your life to be about? I spent a lot of years trying to figure this out, acting like everything was cool. And at a certain point, I just had to answer that question in my heart. Is there something more? I'm happy enough. Well, it wasn't enough for me, Jake. If you're really willing to look, and I don't mean just try it out, then I'm telling you, Jake, you're gonna find that he's more than worth it. I'm not just gonna become some Christian. Good. I wouldn't want you to. to be forgiven. <laughs> I called you yesterday. Yeah, my uh, cell phone's broken. Oh, yes. You see, now that's what I'm talking about. I, that, I want that. Agree, one. Jake. Dude, biggest party of the year, Friday night. Yes, <laughs> beer pong championships, man. And you are the man. You got the belt. Yeah, I, uh, I don't think I can make it. Right. Whatever, Jake Taylor never misses a party. We'll see you there. Yeah, better be there. <clears throat> can we just pretend the last couple days never happened?
reigning champion, Jake Taylor. I'm sorry, man. I just, I can't do this anymore. What do you mean you can't do it? What's wrong with you? I'm done with this. You're done with this? What the hell, Jake? You're a Christian. No, I'm just checking things out. Don't you think you're rushing into this? No. I, I don't know, may, maybe. I just, I just know that I need to do this. Well, can't you check it out and still be the same Jake? The same Jake that can throw a ping pong ball into a keg cup? What is that? I don't know if I even like that Jake anyway. I like that Jake. That's the Jake that I fell in love with freshman year, who I got into Louisville for, who I, I've been planning my life around. Is this still about that friend of yours that killed himself? Maybe, I don't know. I told you, it's not your fault, okay? You didn't pull the trigger. Why does everyone keep saying that? You don't listen to me. I know I didn't kill him. I know I didn't tell him to show up at school. I know that I didn't do anything. Yeah, none of us did. That's the point, Amy. Why didn't I? Jake, you're the captain of the basketball team. You're getting ready to graduate. You have a girlfriend. You're busy. He saved my life. He what? In sixth grade, he pushed me out of the way of a car, and he took the hit himself. So that's what this is about. What? He saved your life, so now you think you owe him or something? If I didn't ignore him, do you think that I could have saved him? I don't know, okay? But you have to get over this, okay? There's nothing you can do to bring him back. I can't believe this is the first time I'm even hearing this. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. I feel so alone. I'm the only person in the world that feels this way, and it doesn't even matter. It's not important. It's not important. I mean, maybe because I'm not important. I'm screaming out, doing everything in my power to be heard. It even silences louder than my screams. <laughs> 
else can I do to be heard but to, to tear down my world, break apart my life, die. God, I just want somebody to listen and, and to not be angry that I'm not content because it's, I'm not. You know, I, I'm not happy. I feel like I'm stuck in a world where no one wants me. In a world where I'm so completely different, I can never fit in or, or be understood. I can scream as loud as I want to, but the screams will always fade because, because no one really knows how to listen. Maybe this will show. All right, guys, I'm gonna need four volunteers. I got a game that's gonna test your manhood, your determination, and just sheer insanity, all right? I need mud, CJ, Matt, Arona, come on. All right. It's gonna be a game to see who can chug a can of soda, that is, the fastest. Are you ready? On your marks. Get set! Oh, wait a minute. I forgot one of the rules. I need each one of you guys to take off one of your socks and place it over the can. Oh. <laughs> Come on, like you mean it, guys. This is gonna taste great. Come on, don't be shy. Come on, guys, get it on there. Yeah! All right, are you ready? On your marks, get set! Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot the last rule. I need each one of you guys to pass your can to the guy next to you. Oh, yeah! Oh, okay, that's... That's what I mean. Here we go. Go! Let's get the band up here. Hey, you made it. Andrea, this is Amy. I'm really glad you could join us. Yeah, well, I told my boyfriend I would check it out, so. That's cool. Check I really out. gotta go. I'm really glad you're here. Okay, the girl on the right is a pot. just got here. What's really going on with you? I'm not gonna let them judge me. Who? Okay, it's either me or them, Jake. Would you please just hang around for 10 more minutes? I want you to meet Chris. There's something I gotta talk to you about. What is it? I don't want to talk about it in here. Amy, I'm not going to fall for that.
You know what? Never mind. You know, they did a survey to find out the places that people least like to be. And some on the top of the list were the DMV, the dentist, the principal's office. But you know what the number one place was? The church. Boring, judgmental, hypocritical. Why is it that so often we can be the exact opposite of what this teaches? That's not how it's supposed to be, guys. This is supposed to be a place where you don't have to pretend like you've got it all together or that you don't have any problems. A place where you can come and be who you really are and not feel judged. I want to take 30 seconds right now, 30 seconds of silence, and I want you to ask yourself the question, who have I judged? Hey, did you see the game last Sunday? She would not stop texting me. Did you see that guy again? I saw him yesterday. He has to keep some numbers. Did you? Yeah, I think he's a friend. I don't know how he just seems to get along. Oh, I can't find it. Damn it. Damn it! Did any of you hear what he just said? My girlfriend came here today and she left because she felt judged and no one even noticed. Roger walked into school and started shooting. I knew him. He wasn't crazy. And did anyone ever stop and ask why? I mean, how did it get to the point where his only option was to shoot himself? Now, there are people killing themselves, and you're chugging soda through a sock. I mean, what's the point of all this if you're not going to let this change you? What do you think we should do, Jake? I don't know. We could all hang out together at school. Loser. It's <laughs> a good idea. Hey, why don't we all have lunch together in the quad? Jake! Hey, Dad. Hey. Hey, uh, Mom said you went to church again. It's twice this week, isn't it? Yeah, the other time was, uh, youth group. Huh. Yeah, I got nothing against a little religion, but, uh, you sure you have time for this? Time? Yeah. It's your senior year, you know. Louisville could still take your scholarship away if your grades are bad. You been hitting the books? Yeah. You better. You don't want to be a slacker. Huh? You want to be successful, you got to work hard. It's what separates the good from the great. You got your whole life ahead of you now. Don't screw it up. Relax, Dad. I'm... I won't disappoint you. Good talk. Think anybody's gonna show? Yeah, maybe.
and some friends are having lunch over there. Just seeing if you want to join us. Um, yeah, I gotta study for a test, so... Sorry. Okay. Just wanted to say hi. I'm Jake Taylor. I'm Johnny Garcia. Hey, you're friends with Roger, right? Hi, I'm Andrea. This is uh, my new friend, Johnny. Hey, so are you gonna join us? He's got homework. Yeah, I got a, I got a test I have to study for, so. Well, we'll be here every day. See you later, Johnny. Your deal, man. I'm just trying to work out. You sure you got time to work out? You don't have to get some secret Christian club meeting or something? What do you care, Doug? Ever since you've gotten religious, you, you don't have any time for your friends, man. I've invited you to lunch with us every day. Okay, us. You see what you're doing? Us. Jake, you and I have been best friends since sixth grade soccer, okay? And it's always been about you, right? Jake the MVP. Jake the prom king. You know what's true. Hey, guess who's banging Amy tonight, buddy? She's using you, man. She would never do that. She's too good for you. Thanks. Yeah, keep walking, Taylor. Chill. Chill. Hey. Johnny. Hey, man. Need a lift? Nah, you don't need a lift, man. Come on. Get in. I was on uh, Roger's page, and uh, I saw you on there. Are you guys friends? Yeah, we play video games a lot. Not in person, just, you know, online. Did you know that he was gonna, you know? Look, I didn't, I didn't think he was serious. Oh, you knew? Yeah, I just saw some stuff he wrote online, that's it. And you didn't tell anyone? No, I didn't, I don't know, I, I swear I didn't think he was serious. I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you. I just... I just want to know what happened. You ever think like Roger did? What, that I'm gonna shoot up a school? No. I didn't mean that. I'm not Roger, okay? I'm right here on the right. Did you like video games? Got any good ones? Did you hear Chris got in trouble? For what? <laughs> that time you were cussing at church. That was, that was awesome, man. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. 
You never said anything to me about it? Well, of course not. A star athlete like you coming to our church? I mean, he doesn't want to mess that up. What are you talking about? I mean, I've seen it before. I mean, that's how these guys work. Whatever, man. No homework today? Come on. Welcome to the fire. Welcome to resistance. Attention is here. Attention is here. So you can forget everybody's name except for this guy. Hey. Chris, Johnny. Nice to meet you, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Come with me. I want you to meet some people. Have fun. I don't know how you did it, man. This place is different because of you. Hey, you know earlier when I cussed in front of everybody? Did I get you in trouble? Jake, I've been doing this a long time, and that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Don't worry about me. Do you think cartoon characters go to heaven? <laughs> Bro, what's it like in there? <laughs> okay, speaking of that, did you have fun today? Yeah, I did. I just normally don't like big groups of people. So. Hey, uh, just wondering, um, how often do girls shave their legs? <laughs> what? I'm just always wondering. Uh, <laughs> just kind of depends on the girl. That's what I figured. <laughs> so cute. So you heard all that, huh? I've been hearing all that. It's, it's, it's nothing. Your mother's just overreacting. It's okay, Jake. It's just a little misunderstanding. Yeah. So don't worry about us. Just worry about yourself. It's not worth it, Dad.
I miss a dozen. Jacob, you don't have to do that. I don't mind. Okay, well, at least come in and have some cookies. Still got that sweet tooth? Sure do. That was his badge of honor. Why don't you take that one? I know Roger would like that. Thank you. Thanks for the pictures. Jake, thank you. Missed having you around. Mrs. Dawson, I'm really sorry that I wasn't a better friend to Roger. I didn't know. None of us did. When I was his mother, he was my son. It's really fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, have you ever, have you ever asked a girl out before? Like on a date? Yeah. Yeah. You think Andrew would go out with me? Andrew? You have a game plan? A game plan? It's the best part. If you can make a girl feel like a million bucks, she'll be like putty in your hands. Well, are you gonna be there when I ask her? Absolutely not. Broken the ice. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was wondering if you would like to go out with me tonight. Tonight. How sweet. Of course. <laughs> I've never heard of anyone bringing their own toppings to an ice cream shop. <laughs> really like bacon bits. You wanna try some? Thanks. You sure? <laughs> no. They're really good. Oh. I used to be a cutter. You? 
parents got divorced in eighth grade and they thought it was my fault. It was before I met God. Scars are supposed to heal, you know. Johnny, I... Oh, oh! I'm sorry, I'm oh. sorry, let me just... Oh, I'm, let me just... You okay? Missed you at the party. I haven't been to one in over a month. Yeah. Where's Doug? He's <laughs> probably at the party, passed out somewhere. I stole his Jeep. <laughs> <sighs> Jake, I gotta tell you something. I'm pregnant. I, I, don't, I don't know what to... Are, are, are you sure? Yeah, I... I missed my period. I took four home tests. I'm, I'm sure. It's yours. What, what about Doug? Mm-mm, we never. Wow. Does your mom know? She would kill me. She was my age when she had me, and I can't even tell you how many times she warned me to be careful. Wow. Yes, you said that already, okay? You know, look, I know this is too much for us to handle. I just, I decided not to keep the baby. I just, I wanted, you don't know. That's it? Jake, I grew up without a dad. I'm not gonna lie. But isn't this a decision that we should make? We? Jake, you leave for Louisville in five months. I, I thought no, that... Jake, I am not having the baby. But this is my... No, it's not your choice. I just think that we should talk about this. Jake, it's my body. My future. I know, I... I just don't want you to rush into this. You know what would happen to me if I kept it? Have you seen so many pregnant? It's kind of hard to hide. What about the baby? Great. Made me feel worse than I already do. You know, I thought this whole religious thing would make you more sympathetic, but I was wrong. Wait. Just stay away from me, Jake. Amy, come on. Can we talk? Mom, what's wrong? What happened? And where are you going? I'll be here, Judy. Dad, what did you do to Mom? Now, what did you do? Jake, your mother caught me with another woman. She, she what? She wants me to leave. Yo, what is wrong with you? 
It's a two-way street, you know. It's not just me. But it's over. I, we decided to end it a long time ago. I, 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 I tried to tell her, but... You are unbelievable, you know that? I'm done with you. Jake! Jake! I got huge problems, man. It's Andrea. I totally screwed up last night. I kind of tried to kiss her. I mean, she, she grabbed my hand and I thought, I don't know, man, I'm an idiot. What should I do? Whatever. Whatever? Whatever, Jake, this is huge. I just blew my one chance. Help me out, man. What's up with you today? You wanna know what's wrong? It doesn't matter if you screwed up. It doesn't matter if she likes you. It doesn't matter if she ever talks to you again. What are you saying? Dude, I guess she doesn't like you. It wouldn't have worked anyways. Suck as a friend, man. Oh yeah, I suck. That's why I picked you up. That's why I'm always defending you. That's why I never told anyone about your little, your little problem. I don't need you, man. I never needed you. It was fine before you ever bothered me. At least you're finding out now. What? Chris just told him to be nice to you. You were kind of like his project. <laughs> Guess he failed that one. I didn't know you were an artist. I'm in trouble. What's going on? Well, my parents are getting a divorce. Jake, I'm so sorry. And uh, Amy is pregnant. How's she doing? She wants to get rid of it. Has she made up her mind? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what to do. She won't even talk to me. She needs to know that she won't be alone. That you'll be there for her. I've dreamt my entire life of going to Louisville. She knows that. You think she dreamed of getting pregnant at 18? Have you prayed about this, Jake? God. I don't want to talk about him. No, well, God didn't do this to you. Well, he didn't stop it. I mean, here I am, I'm going to church, reading my Bible, all that crap, and this is what I get? He's not punishing you, Jake. Well, it sure feels like it. My whole life is falling apart. This is not working. It's not worth it. Listen, God is not some little genie or, or a vending machine. And it's not just worth it because he makes your life all better. But he's with you. And why is my life falling apart? Well... Maybe it always was, and you're just now starting to care. My life was fine. Jake, God wants so much more for your life than fine. Like what? I don't know. I'm not God. But you just got to trust him through this. I don't know, man. 
Look, I'm here for you no matter what. But you and I both know where those other roads lead. You gotta decide for yourself. God, I don't know if, if I'm allowed to be mad at you, but I am. All this has happened to me, and, and I'm trying my best to do the right thing, and everything around me just keeps, keeps getting worse. Chris told me that I, I could ask you for help. I mean, I, I don't even know what that is, but I, I know that I need it. I don't have anywhere else to turn. I know is that I can't do this by myself. God, please. Just give me the strength to do what's right. What do you want to see? Amy. I gotta see you. I can't do this right now. What is it? I, I, I gotta tell you in person. I've already decided. What? What's wrong with you? I'm fine. Jake, just... Amy, where are you? I'm at some coffee shop that's in the plaza. The plaza? Amy, what's wrong? What do you want from me? I just, I woke up this morning and I had this feeling I needed to talk to you. I, I am so sorry about the way I reacted the other day. And, and I don't know what it's like to be you and I just, I, there I was making it worse. Stop, okay? I can't do it. I know, we can. You're leaving. Don't move. I can't let you do that, Jake. That's your dream. It's my choice. I don't even know what you're doing. Amy, I do. I can't be pregnant. You have spent your whole life trying to get people to like you. I'm a 
you'll lose everything, though. You wouldn't lose me. I'm so scared. I'm not ready to be a mom. Neither am I. What? I mean, a dad. I'm not ready to be a dad. <laughs> I'm here for you no matter what. Whatever it is you decide. What are you doing with them? I was cleaning your room and I felt... What's the meaning of this? I'm not going. S excuse me? I've changed my mind. Really? Well, when did this happen? It's complicated. Jake, this is not the way to get back at me. It has nothing to do with you. You have any idea how many guys would kill for an opportunity like this? Like you? Look, son, just think for a second. This scholarship is all you've got. Not anymore. I thought this was your dream. What's going on? I can't go. Why can't you? Amy. What about Amy, honey? What? Amy's pregnant. Oh, tell me you're joking. Well, Jake, she can't force you to stay here. It was not like that, all right? It's my choice. So you're choosing to ruin your life? I guess you would know. It's your future. I heard your date with Johnny was interesting. Yeah, it was a little awkward. Have you seen him lately? No, I've called him, but he hasn't called back. I'll just, let me call him again. Johnny, hey, it's Jake. Um, I'm here with Andrea, and we just wonder where you've been. I wanna to talk to you about something, so. Give me a call. Okay, just need to grab one thing. But we're always the last to leave. So, how you holding up? Never having sex again. <laughs> Man. You can't say that, you're gonna make your wife miserable. Have you guys talked? Yeah. I think Amy's keeping the baby. Good. Yeah. You guys know? Her mom cried. As if she needed anything else. And, uh... What about your dad? I don't really care what he thinks anymore. Listen, man, I want to run something by you and Amy. Maybe we can get together again sometime soon. Is it true? You are such a slut. Really? What's going on? You okay? Where'd you get that? You tell me, Jake. It's not like that. Yeah, I always knew she was a slut. Don't you call her a slut. Oh, oh, what? Don't call her what, Jake? That's what she is, man. She's a slut. 
and you, you got your little, your Jesus lunch group, doing everything you want them to, and you're the biggest faker of them all, man. And nobody, nobody is fooled. You're not worth it. Circle's over here, Taylor. We're a little smaller today. Don't tell me you don't know. We know. Well, uh, see you later. Jake. It really doesn't matter. Besides, like, who am I to judge? Well, for one, you're, like, perfect. <laughs> no, you're not perfect. You only knew the dirt. Whatever. There's different kinds of dirt. How could you let this happen? Amy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I told you, everybody hates me. They, they don't. It'll be okay. It's gonna be okay. What? Got a whole pack if you want them. <laughs> Why are you being so nice to me? I don't know. I guess I just know what it feels like to be alone. It sucks, huh? So are you guys gonna join us for lunch or what? I was deeply disturbed to hear from my son that one of your students got his girlfriend pregnant. Where did Danny hear this? He overheard you two outside your office last night. Mark, your son has no right to- You're right, but he did, and now I know. I'm just not comfortable having this kid being around here. You're not comfortable. Look, Mark, I'm telling you, half the time, I don't know if these kids listen to a thing I say. But this kid, I mean, he's getting it, and I can see it happening. But it's a fragile time for him, you know? I mean, you, you judge this kid, but you haven't even bothered to get to know him. You don't even know what's going on in his life. You know, I mean, Jake Taylor should be teaching us what it means to follow God. I want to give you guys a chance to respond tonight. And I know that some of you guys came here tonight feeling totally alone. Maybe some of you are here and you're hurting for someone else. You know what your response is? Show them God's unconditional love. And let me tell you, it's not always gonna be easy. But don't give up. Maybe it would only get worse. I don't think life really wants me either.
Everybody leaves until we know what's going on. What's going on here? All right, everybody, listen up. This is not a drill. This is real. We've got a bomb threat here today. The police are inside searching the building. You're staying here until I say otherwise. Anyone who tries to leave will be expelled. This is no joke, especially at this school. Now, if anyone has information that might be helpful, you need to tell me. Um, I bumped into this kid earlier, and um, I don't, I mean, I don't know where he is, but uh, so I'm sure. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Does the name match the cell phone? 10 4, I think we have our suspect. Do you know a Johnny Garcia? Johnny Garcia? Can you tell me where he is? You've got to be kidding. Hey, Johnny's here. Johnny Garcia. Stand up for me. Here, take your backpack off, hand it to my partner. You have to take a look at your cell phone. I, I don't have it. No? You have to come with us. He didn't do it. We gotta help him. Jake, you're getting expelled. I got an idea. Ow. Ladies, what's going on? I'm really not feeling. Well, my friend, she needs help. She's pregnant. Jake? Jake! Things are different now. Why'd you bring him? Why am I here and not your dad? Chris, just get me out of here, okay? I didn't do anything wrong. Where are you going? Well, it doesn't sound like you did anything wrong. Look, it wasn't my fault, okay? Somebody set me up. I don't deserve this. They found you with this phone, Danny. You're not fooling anybody. You can't leave me here. 
I'm not gonna leave you here. They're gonna take you downtown until your dad can find some time to come pick you up. It's up to you, Jane. You can't do this. I'll get you fired. Well, what do you want me to say? What, that I screwed up? You know what? Screw you, okay? Who needs you? I don't. Okay, okay, okay. It was an accident, okay? I panicked. I didn't know, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'll stay. Why are you doing this? I'm not sure. Frank and Jan are really amazing people. They're longtime friends of ours, and they've been dying to meet you guys ever since I told them. Um, they're also really excited about an open adoption. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. Okay. Come on in. This is Jan, and her husband Frank. Hi. This is for you. What? Oh, well, it's just a little something to show our gratitude for... for your amazing gift. And... we, we want to keep you part of the family. <laughs> Good to meet you both. It's so nice Thanks to come and meet you. Life is a journey, not so much to a destination, but a transformation. You know, looking back, doesn't it sometimes feel like our richest times come right in the midst of our hardest? But God made us to live in community, to laugh and cry, to hurt and celebrate with each other, no matter what we're going through. And transformation is tough. and We don't always end up where we think we will. But we have to remember that even when we struggle to believe in Him, He always believes in us. And He fills our life with purpose and passion if we just let Him. And you know, the best part of the journey is that the God of the universe sometimes allows us to play a part in changing the world. Isn't that a trip? Took an extra semester, but you made it. I'm so proud of you, Jake. Love you, Mom. Good. Then don't be mad at me. What? Jake, no matter what, he's your dad. I'll uh, pay for the gas if. You got an open seat. Okay. Yeah. 
Hey, Mom, I'll miss her. Oh, hey, I gotta... It's for you, bro. Thank you so much for staying with me. I wish you were coming. Yeah, I just gotta make sure it's my dream, too, you know? Yeah. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Call me tonight. <laughs> Dear Jake, I wanted to say this in person, but it's weird. Remember that time that you asked me if I had ever felt the way Roger did? I said I didn't, but I lied. I thought about taking my life all the time. I even wrote the letter explaining why to my mom. <sighs> then out of nowhere, you came up and invited me to eat with you guys. I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't done that. I just want to say thank you. pain to survive on her own the hurt she can't handle overflows to a knife she writes on her arm wants to give up her life each day she goes on is a day that she's brave fighting the lie that giving up is the way each moment of courage her own life she saves when she throws the pills out a hero is made heroes are made Tears. So we walked through the door, grabbed the 4-4 out of his father's dresser drawer and said, I can't take life no more. 